Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a cylindrical helix given its radius r and its pitch p. A cylindrical helix is defined as a curve generated by a point moving around and along the surface of a right angled circular cylinder with a uniform linear velocity in the direction of the axis. The pitch of a cylindrical helix is the height of one complete helix turn measured parallel to the axis of this cylinder as shown. Today we are going to draw a cylindrical helix with a given radius of 4 cm and a given pitch of 10 cm as can be seen here on our screen. And you can easily adapt these measurements according to your specific requirements. So the first step is to draw a horizontal line on the bottom of the page or on the screen here. Now we are going to draw a perpendicular vertical line So now that we have set up our horizontal and vertical axis setting our compass to the given radius 4 cm we set our compass on the origin O and draw a circle as can be seen here So now setting the compass on the left extremity of the horizontal diameter and with the same radius, we're going to scribe a semicircle, cutting our previously drawn circle at two new points, as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and set on the uh, right hand extremity of the diameter, we scribe another semicircle, getting two new points. And now setting it on the top extremity of the vertical axis, we scribe another arc. And finally, the bottom extremity of the vertical axis. And now, as you can see, we have split our circle into 12 equal parts. Okay. We will number them from 1 to 12, as can be seen here. To finish the plan view, we have to draw four remaining diameters, joining points 1 to 7 as can be seen here in red. Now we join points 2 to 8. Joining points 4 to 9 and 5 to 11. This drawing represents the plan view of the cylindrical helix that we want to draw. So now that we have drawn the plan view of our helix, we are ready to draw the elevation or side view. So we are going to start by drawing the horizontal line that represents the bottom of the cylinder, as shown here. And now, setting our compass to the length of the given pitch, which is 10 centimeters, we are going to transport this height onto the vertical axis to represent the total height of the cylinder with another horizontal line, as can be seen here. So now we are going to draw perpendicular vertical lines from point 12 and from point 6, as shown here in the video. The next step, we are going to divide the height AB, highlighted here in red, into 12 equal parts using Tails theorem. We will start by drawing a line from point A at any angle, as shown here. And now we are going to mark this line into 12 equal divisions with a ruler. In this video, we decided to use divisions of one centimeter, but it can be any measurement once they are equal. The reason we divide this into 12 equal parts is because we divided the circle below into 12 equal parts. Now we are going to join the last division on the line to point B, as can be seen here. And from now on, we have to draw parallel lines to this line, passing through all the divisions, as seen here with red lines. Okay. 
Okay, so once you have divided the height into 12 equal parts, you have to draw horizontal lines passing through each new division, as shown here. And each of these divisions will represent uh, different levels on our cylinder. 11, and now finally our 12th division. So the next step, with a red line, we are going to draw perpendicular vertical lines passing through points 1 through 11 and elongating it, as can be seen here, onto the cylinder. And then another vertical line passing through points 2, from points 2 through 10 and elongating it to the top of the cylinder. And again, from point 4 through 8 and elongating it to the top of the cylinder. And finally, uh, from point 5 through 7 and elongating it to the top of the cylinder. So now we are going to locate each point of the plan onto the elevation view by joining each point on the plan view to its corresponding point in the elevation view. So zero, zero prime represents the bottom level, which can be seen here with two red dots. And then one, one prime is the second horizontal level. And then two, two prime is the third level. And we will continue this three, three prime which will represent the third level, four, four prime, which represents the fourth level, five, five prime, the fifth level, six, six prime, the sixth level. And then we start working back to the left, seven, seven prime, eight, eight prime, nine, nine prime, 10, 10 prime, 11, 11 prime, and finally, 12, 12 prime. So now that we have all the points of the helix located, the final step is to join these red dots using a thicker black line which form the cylindrical helix that we are looking to draw. You can do this freehand or with the help of a French curve ruler. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you would like to, you can always support us by pressing the super thanks button. So until the next video, thank you very much. Bye bye.